In this video, we're going to prove by induction that the nth derivative of x squared e to the x is x squared plus 2nx plus n lots of n minus 1 times e to the x. OK, so in order to do this, OK, just to be clear before we begin, um, if you haven't met uh, the derivative of e to the x, you probably have by this stage, I would have thought. But um, if you haven't, um, or if you haven't done the product rule for differentiation, then you might be a bit lost. Okay, So make sure you've done the product rule for differentiation and the derivatives of e to the x first before you tackle this problem. Okay, So step one, we need to prove that it's true for n equals 1. So the left-hand side is the first derivative of x squared e to the x. So we need to differentiate that using the product rule. So we've got the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first, so 2x e to the x. The right-hand side, we would have x squared plus 2 times 1 times x plus 1 times 1 take away 1, lots of e to the x. So this is x squared, uh, sorry, let's deal with the bracket first, x squared plus 2x, 1 take away 1 is 0, e to the x, which is equal to the x squared e to the x plus 2x e to the x. And that is the same as the left-hand side, and so it works. Step 2. Assume true for n equals k. So the kth derivative of x squared e to the x will be x squared plus 2kx plus k, lots of k minus 1 e to the x. Step 3. Prove true for n equals k plus 1. So we're looking at the k plus 1th derivative of x squared e to the x. Now the k plus 1th derivative is the derivative of the kth derivative of x squared oh, d x to the k rather, of x squared e to the x. So once you've got this, if I differentiate it again, I get the k plus 1th derivative. So we're looking at the derivative of this, because we've assumed this to be true. So I can now look at the derivative of this, x squared plus 2kx plus k, lots of k minus 1 e to the x. So how do I differentiate that? I differentiate that using the product rule. I've got this times this. So we have the first times the derivative of the second, plus the second times the derivative of the first. So the derivative of the bracket uh, will give me 2x plus 2k and this differentiates to 0 because it's just a constant term, e to the x. So I've got the x squared. So combine factoring out the e to the x, I've got the x squared plus I've got 2kx plus 2x plus I've got the k lots of k minus 1 plus the 2k e to the x. So we've got x squared plus two lots of, um, now if I put that in a bracket, x, we've got k plus 1 there, haven't we? Right? 2kx, two lots of 1x. Plus, let's multiply this out, so I've got k squared, take away k plus 2k, e to the x. Actually, I could simplify that at this stage, couldn't I? Let's do that. Makes it a little bit easier, doesn't it? Fewer steps. What have we got? We've got k squared 
minus k plus 2k, so plus k e to the x, which is equal to x squared plus the two lots of k plus 1x, plus, factorising that, uh, k, what shall I, how shall I write that as? Uh, let's do it as k plus 1 times k e to the x. And that's what I would expect to get with replacing each of those ends with k plus 1. So I get two lots of k plus 1 times x plus k plus 1 times k times e to the x. And so I've got to the answer that was required. So as it is true for n equals 1, and if it is true for n equals k, then we've shown it's true for n equals k plus 1. So it is true for all, uh, all natural numbers n greater or equal to 1. And so that completes the proof.